Hi, this is Wasim. I'm going to demo my Comp 3013 coursework. We're part of Group 14A and our team members are Marco Lobo, Wasim Ahmad, and John Paul Mugabe. Basically, we've built a user-friendly and easy-to-use carpooling application that lets you tag along with other people and uh, join them for a trip that they might be making or share uh, and carpool with other people basically. So I'll go ahead and uh, get started and show you how the application works. So first things first, in order to share rides or be able to join other people's trips, you need some notion of a user account. So we have a very simple registration form that has some sort of built-in validation. So you can't leave uh, fields empty and you have to enter the data in the correct format. So there we go. I have uh, registered into the website and uh, basically the username, the user account information is secured in a secure, stored in a secured manner and uh, I can't try to um, wiggle my way through it so go ahead and log back in and so I can't share a ride without a user account so it checks for that now that I have logged in I'll go ahead and uh, share a trip that I plan to make in the future so I think that I'm going to be going from London to Oxford somewhere around next week on during the weekend I'm going next Saturday and I'm leaving at uh, 1 45 p.m. and I have three spots in my car I'll be going to Oxford to attend a business conference here I enter my message um, I'm looking forward to sharing the petrol cost for the trip. And once I've entered the data, I can go ahead and share the ride. And it's as simple as that. The website uh, uses Ajax to give a very responsive uh, feel to the website. And unless it's uh, quite necessary, you don't move on to another page. So there we go. Uh, that fulfills the first requirement of the coursework. Um, users will upload text annotations related to specific geographical locations to their user account. Well, the, the annotation in this case is a trip, which uh, I just showed how we can uh, share it. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, search for other trips. So I've been meaning to go to Manchester. I have a friend over there that I'd like to meet. So I'm going to go ahead and search for that. I just hit search and I have two search results. Um, so Jean is uh, going to Manchester for fun on uh, 25th of March and then Anne is going on the 15th of April. Um, I can further restrict my query by spe specifying the date that I would like to go. So I know that I can't go in April but I can go on 25th of March so I'll select that date of March and I'll make the search and so there we go I have this trip now I can go ahead and uh, make a request to uh, join John uh, for his trip to Manchester so I'll go ahead and click over here and I'll type in I was hoping to join you for this trip I have a friend in Manchester I'd like to meet. Once I type in my message all I have to do is click request and there we go it's uh, sent the request and it's pending and uh, John will be able to log in and uh, basically um, either approve the request or, or deny it. So basically that fulfills requirements numbers two and three 
uh, users are able to visually browse through other users' annotations, so you can look through other people's trips. And then you can sort through them and narrow the query. Um, as you can see, the search bar here lets you uh, enter exactly where it is that you're searching for, and you can spe specify a date, so that fulfills requirement number three. So now, Jean logs in and uh, basically can look at his upcoming trips. And so he's planned two trips. Uh, he's going to Wales and Manchester. And so for this one, um, I know that I made a request as Wasim for this trip. So it shows up right over here. And either he can, uh, either he can decline it or approve it. So John and I are friends. I'm pretty sure he'll approve this. And as you can see, it updates the remaining spots to two. And the writers over here are now one. So now Jean has got even more requests. Uh, other people are asking him to join uh, his ride as well. And so Marco mentions that he'd like to go as well. And uh, Jean has already uh, um, approved me. And so he can just click approve and now it says there's one spot remaining. And now Jean has to approve either one of the two because he can't approve both since he specified that he only has uh, four other spots in his car. So as you can see, if he approves Sarah, he can't click approve on Max and vice versa. So Jean decides to approve Sarah's request and decline Max's, sorry Max. And there you go, the, the ride is basically updated. So if I log in as Wasim, I can see over here that the request has been approved. And if I log in as Max and go to my trips, you can see that the request has been declined. And so basically, this covers the last requirement of the coursework. Uh, I consider that users who share rights kind of have these administrator privileges where they can uh, either approve or reject other people's requests, which is kind of equivalent to viewing or, or deleting other users' annotations in this case. And uh, so basically, that concludes some of the core features of our coursework. And um, thank you for watching this video.